Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washoff at vareva.com. Today I am going to show you one simple and awesome dish using corn and spinach. So let us go ahead and make corn spinach souffle but with lot of variations. So for this preparation first the flame has to be low, add butter. For this take equal quantities of uh, flour and butter. I have shown you how to make the roux but for this you know we are going to do only one step method. So in this I am going to add some garlic and onions, finely chopped onions. You know this will give a very nice uh, taste to your uh, preparation because we are going to use spinach. I am going to use some nutmeg. So I am going to grate some nutmeg also into this. You know wherever spinach goes little garlic and nutmeg has to go. So very little not too much. This is good. Wow. Now, ah, while this nutmeg and butter, wow, what's aroma. In this, add flour and then we're going to make it a kind of a roux. Keep stirring it and we're going to cook it for one or two minutes till the raw flavor of the flour is gone. Now, you can add even corn. Add a pinch of pepper, a little extra for me. That should be good enough. And add salt. Now, you know, simmer the flame and then add milk and keep mixing it. First it will become thick and uh, that is okay. Once it becoming thick keep mixing it. Add milk little by little so that you won't have any lumps forming. You do not want to add a lot of milk in this just to make sure it becomes like a thick bechamel. Now in this add spinach. This spinach has to be slightly cooked in this and now just increase the flame slightly and just mix in the spinach. You know as the spinach cook it also oozes out some moisture and this will become into a nice mixture. Now you can see that while the spinach is getting cooked it kind of becomes soft and also it becomes a nice mixture. In this you can add you know parmesan cheese or cheddar cheese which has been dry and powdered or else the regular grated cheese also you can add in this. Now switch off the flame and let this mixture cool down. Now this mixture is slightly cool down. In this we have taken three eggs. We have separated the whites and yolks. In this the yolks of the three eggs we are going to add in this and then quickly mix this and this will become even more richer and even more tastier. While you keep mixing it, it slightly thickens and it will be very nice. Once this mixture is done, before you turn into a souffle, just put this mixture on a toast and mm. my god this is so good I really am seriously thinking should I make it into a souffle or just eat it like this. Now this mixture is all ready you can put it in a blender and make it to a coarse paste or else you can use a hand blender and make it to a nice coarse paste. Now the next step is take egg whites this three of the egg whites and uh, it is best to beat when they are slightly towards the room temperature and keep whisking till they are nice frothy and peaks form. Now just pour this coarsely made uh, mixture into a bowl and uh, if you notice that mixture is slightly thin what you can do if this happens add some breadcrumbs and this will you know absorb some of the moisture and become nice. We can always make mistakes but you should know how to get a solution for that. Just adding little bit of breadcrumbs solves this problem ok. Now in this add this stiffly beaten egg white just add first half of it and then mix this. See if you mix this egg whites vigorously it will lose the aeration. So be little bit gentle not too much. Wow, this is good. Okay, now the entire egg whites. Now this time be a little bit more uh, careful and just fold it nicely. Now you will be able to see this mixture has become light and nice. Okay, this is perfect. Just uh, take your sambar spoon and pour this mixture into this uh, balls. Okay, this much should be good enough. You should leave some room for it to rise. Smaller portion for my son. This is all ready to go into the oven. 
put it at around 180 to 190 degrees centigrade for around 15 to 17 minutes. You know, usually these uh, souffles are made in a round ramekins, single portion ones. They raise up even nicer when they are served in a nice round and a flat bowls. Unlike the ones what I am showing here, because the round ones I am using for some other dish. Look at this souffle. You know, it is so nice and light. It feels like a very light cake and you know, can be served just by itself or as a great accompaniment or even as a starter. And wow, sometimes they pour a little sauce on it and have it. It's up to you, however you want to have it. Mm. You know, I prefer it with a nice toast on the side. Mm. And this souffle, wow. It's so light and it just melts away. Mm -hmm. These souffles are served usually directly from the oven to the plate and to the guest. So you do not have much time to play around with it because they can go flat if it gets cold. Dear friends, this is one of the classic dishes. If you want to try, you should give it a try and you will like it. And the kids, everybody will like it because this is so nice and smooth. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed to learn to make this uh, nice souffles with your washer. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.